What is up everybody? Welcome back. So, this video is gonna make a lot of you very happy. If you had not seen any video like this before, this video is gonna optimize your visuals in Call of Duty Warzone. And it's gonna help you spot that freaking rose skin or any dark colored skin. It's gonna help you so much. It's only for NVIDIA users. I'm gonna say it in advance, so you can skip along if you don't have an NVIDIA card. I'm pretty sure there's third-party programs like Reshade, which you can use. But let me just show you how much difference it makes, and I'll just show you the settings. Look at this. Oh, baby. This, this is some pro-level easy spotting like this. In dark houses, stupid rose skins. You better set it right. Okay, now let me show you how we do this. Okay, so over here there are a few important settings. You wanna make sure you have the highest resolution enabled. As you can see over here, a lower resolution results in a less sharp image. So make sure you use the max if your system is capable. Also make sure this is set to 100. If you up it, it upscales the resolution and without your monitor even being able to visually show it. So it's just a waste of FPS. Always keep it at 100, unless you want to benchmark or anything. Okay, so let's move on. Next important setting I like to keep on high is texture resolution. Also, you can see over here, this looks much sharper than this. Great, let's move on. Now, you can copy the rest of the settings. This is what I use. Now I have one last very important setting. You want to put your anti-aliasing to SMAA to T2X. Nailed it. Okay, the, the, the difference between this one and Filmic SMAA T2X is this option smears out the image to get rid of the jacked edges. So you can do this, but it'll, it'll look less sharp. This will cause you a little bit of jacked edges, not as over-exaggerated as this, but it's good enough. And it gives you like the sharpest image. Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to general and make sure your colorblind type is set to Tritanopia. Now, what it does is it enhances the colors in the game and it helps with spotting targets. A lot of high skilled or high ranked Warzone players use this setting as well. I've set mine to world only, not to both, because you can see some like former purple guns now turn blue unless you are colorblind. So I'm just gonna keep it on world. Now let's go to the last settings. Now before we go into the last settings, I'd like to ask of you as a small content creator, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. And also comment something, you know, nice or shit video or what is your favorite food? I like pizza, spare ribs. Mm. Okay, enough with the crap. Let's go to the last settings. So this setting you don't want to use. You want to press Alt Z or Alt Z in order to get to the menu, go to the filters like this, game filter and we're going to add some options over here. Now, there's many options you can add. I just like to add these three. And I'm going to start with Sharpen. I have Sharpen set to 30%. Now, let me show you what it does. You can see on the right side, it gives a bit more grid to the picture. If you up it and down it, putting it down makes it a little bit softer. I like this sharpness on 30%. Now, Let's go to details. Here's also a sharpen option, but this one also increases the brightness a little bit. Now, honestly, I like to set it around 60 because if you put it any higher on like very light maps, it's, um, it's kind of over brightening. You need sunglasses to play the game. So that's not something you want. Clarity, well, yeah. This looks very soft. I like it to look a little bit harder, so it's easier to spot targets sitting in the corner cabin and hdr toning well this one speaks for itself 
I like to put it on 100%. Bloom, put it all the way down. Bloom is absolutely trash. It looks like you're in love. Okay, so for the last one, color. Tint color, well, you can play around a little bit with this. This is how I like to set it. I like to keep these two in the back for obvious reasons. You can tune it up a little, make it a little more pink, add some bloom, and you're pretty much Cupid. Temperature, well, you can tinker around. Some people like a cooler image. There's something to say about a cool image. This looks pretty good as well. But I like to just keep it on the neutral. And vibrance. Well, this is usually what the game looks like. And if you add the vibrance to around 70% or higher, it's a little too too much color for my liking. So I like to put it on like 70%, 70. So those are the last settings. And I'm gonna round up the video here, guys. So please hit that thumbs up, subscribe, tell me your favorite food, and I'm just gonna show you some gameplay with these settings on to round up the video. If you wanna watch, watch. If you wanna end the video, then go. Have a good one, peace. Wait a minute. I need recon on my position. Advise UAV is bingo fuel. RTP for resupply. Enemy dropping into the AO. Friendly UAV overhead. Sets are marked. Extract is standing by. Soldier incoming. Uh. Enemy soldier incoming.
Hey Jeroen, ik ga ook slapen. Kom maar jongen. Hit! 